Mills adding that the new administration would continue to urge other countries to normalize ties with Israel and join the Abraham Accords. Okay, speaking of those Abraham Accords, which now includes the UAE, Bahrain and Morocco, a new collaboration is in the works for kids. Israel's national youth baseball team for ages up to 12 is partnering up with Dubai's Little League for a revolutionary event where the only common language is baseball. Take a look. Israeli baseball is booming. Young Israeli kids in towns, cities and even in Arab villages are falling in love with the game, carrying on America's favorite pastime to a new generation and a new continent. But now even more exciting is a partnership between a Little League team in Israel and its counterpart in Dubai. I fell in love with baseball when I was about six or seven when I went to a Yankee game. And it's a great honor to, pl to play for Israel wearing blue and white. And I can't wait to meet new kids from a different culture. And meeting their friends in jerseys and more is set to happen in the near future. These 12-year-old kids behind me are going to Dubai for the first time in the history of, uh, of Israel. We're sending a, a baseball team, a national team, to Dubai to play sports there, to play baseball there. Together with our Olympic team that is qualified for the first time for the Olympics in July in Tokyo, we're going to be making history. And their ultimate dream? Inspiring unity through the love of baseball across the region. His Excellency Saeed Mohammed Hareb, Dubai Sports Council Secretary General, stating, I cannot think of anything better than to have children represent the bright future that we look forward to growing together. National teams of both countries are set to compete in an event appropriately called the Unity Cup in the coming fall of 2021. Little League teams from other Gulf countries are invited to participate as well. Hannah Rifkin, ILTV. What a great initiative. Okay, joining me in studio to talk about it is Danny Grossman, Team Israel Consultant. Hi, Danny. Thank you for joining me. A pleasure. And on Zoom, we're going to be joined by Dubai's Little League President, Roger Duthie. Thank you, Roger, for joining us. We're going to get to you in just one second, but I want to start in the studio with Danny. Please tell me, how did this idea come to be, and why baseball, and why kids? Well, the idea came to be because peace came to be. Of course. I remember sitting and watching the first broadcast about peace and said, let's do this. You automatically thought baseball? Absolutely. <laughs> well, uh, as people who know me, I've been helping with Peter uh, Kurtz, who did an amazing job in bringing Israel's national team to the Olympics with an incredible uh, thing. So now I when said, When the Olympics eventually do happen. Sorry, they will stick happen. that let's, in there. Let's be optimistic. <laughs> but uh, Israel was the first team sport. Israel qualified for the Olympics the first time in, in uh, 45 years. Amazing achievement. And similarly to peace is an amazing thing. I was, I've been involved in peace talks and everything throughout my life. And uh, I said, look, you build peace from the ground up. And that's why kids, too, you build, that's the future. Uh, and you do it through sports. Look, my good friend Tal Brody is an ambassador for goodwill. So you do it through sports. You do it through friendly relationships. You have kids get to know other kids. And that will build. It's, I was really moved by the famous Kevin Costner movie called Field of Dreams. Field so here dreams, this is Field of, of Peace. And we will build peace. We found a fantastic partner in Roger, who uh, you'll see in a second and speak with. And he said, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. And uh, so we're going to have Israeli kids, kids from Dubai, and hopefully kids from all, everywhere else in the region who are now our new neighbors. Amazing. All right, Roger, next question is for you. I want to ask, what do we have look for, to look forward to? Uh, we have an event coming up in March, I understand. And then where do we see this collaboration going after that? Well, for us, we're, first of all, thank you very much, Danny, Peter, and everyone from, from uh, the Israeli uh, Baseball Association. It's been a wonderful partnership so far. Um, and, and I agree with everything that Danny said. We're building peace through sport. And, and what better way to do it with some 12-year-olds? So we're very excited about that. After March, our event, um, our kids normally will play in some other tournaments in the region, but this year, probably not happening. Um, but our kids will be heading over to, uh, to Israel in October. So we'll be preparing for that um, most of the summer. So we're very excited about that. And we're very excited about the collaboration and the relationship we have now with the Israeli Baseball Association. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed that those tournaments can actually happen. Danny, I want to ask you one more question. I know I mentioned earlier I made a joke that baseball was the language that these kids are communicating in. But obviously, they grew up in different environments. They speak different languages. How do these kids communicate on the pitch? Well, 
on, well, that, it's not on the pitch. Through pitches, they will communicate. Through pitches. And through balls and strikes True. and getting to know each other. But baseball, people who know baseball know it instills love of teammates. It, in, it instills love of greater values, you know, of laying down the bunt for your friend, but also respecting your, your other person. And again, you build it from the ground up. Like the JNF, the Jewish National Fund, is now building fields in Israel through a project called Project Baseball. So we're going to get kids and build this up, and they'll be talking with each other. They'll be yelling at each other, sometimes using Hebrew, English, Arabic, use yalla, slide. You know, you'll see all sorts of things happening, but the kids will communicate and get to know each other. And what, from what you're hearing, are the kids most excited for? Oh, they're excited. Again, kids don't care about politics. Of kids course. care about sports, which is exactly what Roger just said. They, you, you get them to love the, the game. You get them to talk to each other, get to know each other. And you'll see that we really speak a common language, which is really based, based on the same values, which hopefully will build, help us build a better world. Danny Grossman, thank you so much for bringing this story to us. And Roger Duthie, all the way from Dubai, thank you so much. What a really inspiring collaboration. Pleasure.